First up to face the judges is Wexford man Pierce. Confidence Evans wouldn't be huge today. It's probably the most, the most nervous I've felt in coming into an elimination day. Okay, so you've got two minutes to identify as many flavours, and your time starts now. It wouldn't be my strong point, I don't think. I think some of the other contestants would have far more experience and probably refined palates than I would. There's some ingredients that they know that I've never even heard of. You got ten seconds left. That's it. You're done. Pierce, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Next up is 28-year-old business manager Mary. So Mary, you have two minutes to identify as many flavors as you can, and your time starts now. Okay. Keep. I think I probably am a bit worried. You know, we didn't win yesterday, so I haven't got, you know, stars for yesterday's performance. In exams, ordinarily, you kind of, you get you get stressed out, but um, I've never been in an exam that has been two minutes long. So um, there's no time to settle your nerves. You're just going to be kind of having to perform very, very, very quickly. OK, Mary, ten seconds left. Big push now. That's it, Mary. Time's up, Mary. I have no idea at this point. I think for whoever goes today, it'll be a massive shock. I think there's every chance that I'm going home this evening. Throughout the competition, market stall assistant Claire Ann has been very daring with her combination of unusual flavours, but has been criticised that it's too much and advised to tone it down. Today, we didn't want to smell it, we didn't want to eat it. We're down to our last legs. I quite like cooking with a lot of different flavours and actually have been told off before the competition for putting too many ingredients into my dishes. So I'm not too daunted by the fact that it's going to become quite complex flavours that we're going to be trying to discern. Ten seconds. No pressure. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. Just put your name down for yeah. me. Next up is 28-year-old occupational therapist, Regine. So you have two minutes. Okay. Start. Yep. Go, Bridging. I think I have an average palate. I, you know, I enjoy food. I can, I can taste flavours that sometimes other people don't pick out. So maybe I'll surprise myself and get all 20 and fly through it. OK, that's it. That's the last one. OK. OK? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd just love to get through this task and actually get back into the kitchen and, you know, put into practice some of the stuff that I've, I've learned over the, the previous task. I should start writing Richard. Ten seconds left. That's it. We're done, Richard. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, all I'll say is it's lucky you did well yesterday or else I'd be going home. That's for sure. Connell. Hi, hey, Connell. So, Connell, time starts now. as many flavours. Time pressure is something that worries me a little bit. Two minutes will fly by in there, so, you know, you're writing, you're thinking at the same time, so I think a lot of people will slip up in that regard more than actually understanding or identifying the ingredients. Time's up, Colonel. Okay. Thanks very much. Former vegan Shane is to face the judges. 
I was a vegetarian for 16 years and a vegan for a number of years. So I suppose that has challenged me and I've learned a lot of skills from it. I went looking at Japanese foods, I went looking at Middle Eastern, and a lot of ethnic foods would be vegetarian based. And maybe there's something in there that I could have a string to my bow that other people don't have. Mike is next to test out his palate. I like to taste new dishes anywhere I go, anywhere I travel, and buy a lot of ingredients from Asian supermarkets or you know anywhere I can come across something new just to taste and see what it's like, just to understand it. Time's up. Last up is our youngest contestant, architectural student, Christine. Are you ready? I think I haven't had as much experience maybe as perhaps other contestants. I'd love to have gone traveling a bit more or like tasted other cultures. That's it. And now our final nine return to face the judges. But for one of them, it will be for the last time. Guys, welcome back to the MasterChef kitchen. As I'm sure you're all wondering what the flavors were used today. Fennel. Star anise. Basil. White seedless grapes. Pink grapefruit, Thai shallots, olive oil, red mullet, and scallops. And the other flavors in the tasting challenge are chicory, baby cucumbers, coriander, ginger, citrus fruits, Vinegar, dill, lemongrass, avocado, and perno. Can I just say that it felt like some of you were looking on the plate for the ingredients that you did know, as opposed to looking for the ingredients that you didn't know. The purpose of the taste test was to see if you could identify specific flavor that could stand up as ingredients on their own. All of you, to some degree, did do this today. However, we were a little disappointed as to how long it took you to establish those flavors, considering a lot of them were very visible to the eye. This really tested your knowledge of ingredients, but also made us very aware of how far you still have to go. Take three steps forward if you identified the main component of the dish, which was red mullet. Unfortunately, I confused the main ingredient. I jotted it down as red snapper, and it was actually red mullet. So um, I was kind of on the back foot. Take one step forward if you identified the secondary ingredient of the dish, fresh scallop. When they called out the main ingredients, the red mullet and the scallop, I realized that if I hadn't got those two, that I was gonna be in trouble. Colonel, Claire Anne and Richard, not only did you not identify the main ingredient, you only named the most obvious and the most visual of the ingredients. And therefore, you three are the weakest. It was quite unusual when I turned around and realised I was left with um, Connell and Richard, who the previous day I had worked with and had had a fabulous experience. If you got one of the most hidden elements of the taste test, the vinegar, take a well-deserved big step forward. 
they were looking for somebody and they clearly indicated that who could identify the more subtle flavours, things like the olive oil and vinegar. They're the sort of things you'll kick yourself about. The person who got the highest number of ingredients, including Thai shallots, take a big step forward, Christine. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Fantastic. We have taken everything into consideration today, from yesterday's performance and today's challenge. And unfortunately, the person we're sending home today is... Richard. I'm terribly sorry. It's okay. Thank you, Richard. But if you could leave the MasterChef kitchen now and take off your apron. Thank you.